Joining me here, Didcock, the Hereford manager, Peter Beadle. Let's talk about the match. Hereford fought back well to win that 2-1. I thought the lads were immense today, to be fair. I, it's, and obviously everything that's gone on at the end there is, is probably the most disheartening thing of it because of what the players have put into today. Um, we've played 40, 45 minutes, 50 minutes before they had the pair sent off with 10 men. I thought we controlled the game throughout with 10 men. And then to, you know, to... To plough away the way we did in the manner we did, to keep going and then to get ourselves in front, I'm just so disappointed for them. Uh, results have gone our way again a little bit today. Um, if we'd have picked up three points, we don't know what the outcome's going to be, but we've picked up three. We could have picked up three points today, and uh, and the season's nearly over for us. Then you know we they've dropped points, the gap's big again, and uh, with with eight games to go, we might only need three or four wins. And but now we've not knowing. And, and like I said, the most disappointing part about it is is the players. I feel for the players because they've put everything into the 87 minutes that we have played today and, and they've been fantastic. It's such a difficult job after 13 minutes when Ryan Green was red carded, <laughs> second time against Didcot, yeah. second time questionable. Well, what did you think about it? Yeah, I thought it, was, I thought it was harsh. I mean, I, I, I thought it was a foul on the... I, I watched the video again, but I thought it was a foul on McGraw on the halfway line. Um, but then the lads too easily skipped past two, two players on, in between that. And then when it came to the edge of the box, I thought it was a 50-50 shoulder to shoulder. Obviously, Ryan's a strong boy and the lad went down. I think they appealed, hoping for, you know... Um, and the referees, the referees given it. I thought, I thought it was a little bit harsh. And but again, until you see the video. But but from where I was stood, I thought it was it was hard on him. You know, and like I said, and, and with that happening so early in the game, and then them scoring straight from it, we could have quite easily crumbled. Instead, we didn't. We galvanised ourselves, and and I thought they were excellent after that. What do you think about the incident at the other end, which seemed to be a worse foul, and Katata's got a <laughs> yellow card when he chopped down Mills? Surely he was the last man. Well, I think I think I think the referee will say that the other centre half was was quite close to him, so which is why he probably only got a booking. Um, but like I said, in the end, he, he got his come up and he got kind of committed another foul on the edge of the box, and and he saw red. And we don't we don't want to see that. We want to see eleven v eleven, and referees sometimes have to go with it. And but like I said, I thought that you know from the very start he was uh, he was quite handy with the, with the cards a little bit, you know. But but like, but that's it. So we have to we have to stop giving him the opportunities. You know, kicking the ball away, McGrath getting booked for kicking the ball away was not necessary. We don't need to do it. So you know and. Uh, and it, like I said, it's just it's just a shame. But like I said, more more really pleased with the players and what they what they gave after that. And Simmons got what we all thought was the winner, planting a header in <laughs> right at the death. But he took. He had enough it, chances. It not that result. We don't know whether it will stand. Or what no, will happen? We don't know. We'll wait and see. And like I said, it's just disappointing because, like I said, the lads have done so well. And Mike's plugged away gamely all afternoon as he always does, and had chance after chance after chance. And then eventually gets his head on one, and it bounces between the keeper's legs and goes in. And you know everyone's so ecstatic and pleased, and the players are delighted, and the supporters are delighted. Um, but unfortunately, what happened after is just a bit of a shame. But like I said, we we just need to wait. We need to wait and see. Like I said, I'm more disappointed for the players because they've put so much into that game on a difficult surface with a. Uh, not an inconsistent referee, but with a referee that you know was as handy as he was with the card. So obviously the, everyone's on a tightrope. Uh, but I thought they managed it fantastically, and, and, and they did it great. And you know I'm, I'm really pleased with them, and really proud of what they've done today. And like I said, let's just hope that in the long run it doesn't affect too much. Thanks for your time. Cheers.